is John Paduchak. I'm doing a quick broadcast today on how to start a Google Hangout. Um, just wanted to run through the tools quickly. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about that. Just how, how do I get started quickly on Google uh, Hangouts? So the way that you do that, when you first come on into Google+, Plus, you'll see either on the left-hand side at the very bottom of, their, of the Google Plus toolbar, uh, a Hangouts tool. Or at the very top right, you'll see Start a Hangout. And um, you can go there, click on Start a Hangout, and then it allows you to uh, name the Hangout and enable it to be on air. And if you don't enable it to be on air, your Hangout won't be posted to YouTube, where it uh, YouTube automatically turns it into an MP4 for you when, you're, when they're done. Um, so what I want to do quickly today is just run through the Hangout tools with you. Um, I tried doing a video before this. And I think the other thing that's important is to make sure that your sound is working correctly. And when you're finished with your Hangout and before before you uh, post it on YouTube, to just make sure that um, your sound came out okay. Because for some reason, the last one that I made, the sound was all garbled up. It was just a jumbled up mess. So. Um, here, here we go. We're going to just go through the quick Hangout tools, and I'm going to first talk about the basic tools that you want to have. Um, and what you'll see is if you go over to the top left corner of your screen, after you're into Hangouts, um, I should say if you want to, once you're ready to record, you'll see at the very top of the screen um, a button that you press to record the Hangout, and um, that brings your Hangout on air and records it to YouTube for you. Okay, going going through the tools, um, you can see on the left-hand corner, uh, three bars says expand apps, and when you do that, you've got a um, a little people plus sign where you can invite people once you're in your hangout, uh, so you can invite them by email or by name, and the, also the other way to do that is to copy the URL from the very uh, from the URL bar on your hangout. And you can post that to Skype to your friends or to a community, whatever it might be. And um, that gives them the option to join or possibly even a page to join your Hangout, a posted page. Next one down is uh, chat, typically. Um, and I, what I'm doing is just going through the tools that are, that are um, usually here in Hangout when you first join. So chat allows you to see the chat box. Um, next is screen share. It's a little green monitor with an arrow in it, um, which is like your screen share and go to webinar. Then you've got capture, so you can take pictures in the Hangout of your friends, whatever you might want to do yourself. <laughs> Sometimes that comes in handy. Um, cameraman, I believe that lets you change different angles uh, if you have multiple cameras. Um, I have as my next thing Google Effects. And uh, Google Effects, I'll just go through it briefly. I'm going to click on it. And um, what Google Effects allows you to do is uh, pick different sound effects. You'll hear the applause. Um, you know, you can pop up your birthday cake if it's your birthday. Uh, maybe you want to, uh, well, you know, in my case, maybe I can make my beard look a little bit better. And you notice that if you put something on your face, it follows you as you go across the screen. So, and uh, clicking on it again takes it off. So, uh, I like my monocle. That's always kind of fun. I like the days of Hogan's Heroes. That was one of my favorite shows growing up as a kid. Some of you might remember that show. Um, scuba mask. Hey, what can I say? I like to go to Bermuda and uh, Bahamas, snorkel around, see the pretty fish, right? Um, so that, you know, you wear glasses. Maybe you want to make them look a little bit bolder. So, uh, you know, you get a lot of different effects here that you can use for effect, as we'd say. Um, going along, those of you who are fans of the Cat in the Hat, one of my personal favorites, uh, maybe you want to be king for a day. Um, yeah, that's an interesting one, huh? <laughs> and, you know, you even got uh, cat mask, dog mask. So there's some interesting effects there. So not to, not to belabor that one, um, probably the most important tool is the Hangout Toolbox. And um, to get these special tools, if you go down this left column, you'll see uh, a bar, uh, three dots. And you'll see a plus add app. And that lets you go into a special area where some of the major apps are that you can select from. And some of the ones that you might be interested in, Google Drive, um, YouTube, if you're going to share videos and talk to friends while you're while you're looking at YouTube videos, um, SlideShare. If you've got slide sets that are on SlideShare, you want to go pull them up and view them and 
you know, talk through them. Um, so I lost them here for a second. Cacao, uh, it's a drawing tool, so it lets you collaborate and draw in real time. Common Tracker is one that I picked up from uh, Google. Toolboxapps.com is another place where they have, um, I'm just looking at my notes here a second as I go through this, but Toolbox, yeah, Toolbox Apps, hang, excuse me, HangoutApps.com is where you can go and um, get some additional apps that you can post up on the side. Uh, Symphonical lets you post to-dos, brainstorming, meetings, planning. And one of the ones that I picked up recently that I like is Pro Studio. It says, it's tools used to produce a successful hangout show, um, assign producers, cue participants, and provide scripts. So I think that would be more like a real formal kind of go-to webinar hangout or go-to webinar style um, presentation. Pro Studio could come in very handy for that. And um, like I said, you can add other apps. But the, the one that I want to go through um, that I think is, and Scoot and Doodle is another one that's um, really good for drawings. But um, Hangout Toolbox is probably the most important one. And I'm just letting that come up here a second. I'm going to go through it. And when that comes up, you click on it. You'll see over on your right-hand side, it says uh, Hangout Toolbox. And lower third uh, is the first icon. It looks like a little guy with, kind of looks like headphones on. If you click on that, um, it lets you, your name automatically comes up because it propagates with the, uh, um, the Google Plus account, whatever account Google Plus is in. Um, you can come down here and you can select your country. So I'm going to select, uh, I've got my name on. I'm going to select um, United States because that's where I'm from right here. And uh, I like the display clock. It's kind of nice. But I usually put it over on the right because Google Plus for Google Hangouts is in the left-hand corner. And then um, you can choose a custom overlay. Now the custom overlay can be a number of things. It can show up at the bottom of the screen as a banner with your name on it or your website. Um, I have one that comes across kind of the the right hand corner of the or the lower right hand corner of the screen. Um, it's kind of neat. It's got my some branding on it. And the other thing that you might want to do is like let's say you're doing a, a video. Um, and you're talking to a group of people and you want to get up and walk away from your desk, you can put up a overlay that fills the full screen so that um, you know people aren't gonna, people are going to see that you're away. They might say I'm away at the moment or, or whatever it might be. Um, so when you get up and walk away from your from your uh, computer during a hangout. And then of course um, before you turn on the lower third and the flag and all that, um, I'm going to show you what it looks like um, right now you can see it comes up, it's not mirrored. So if you click the mirror my video, it mirrors it and makes the, the writing come up correctly and the, um, the flag. So you saw it both ways, mirrored, unmirrored, mirrored, okay? So um, that's just kind of the quick overview of Hangouts. Now there's a couple other bars here. There's a volume control for Hangouts. So it lets you, it lets you mute or mute. I think you can mute yourself out from there if you wanted to. Um, there is uh, what they call deface. So if I want to put on a, uh, a, you know, a funny face, I can do that. So there's a couple different uh, things that you can put up from here. It's kind of interesting. Um, you've got uh, a soundboard, so it lets you do your applause, a buzzer. Wow, some different stuff there. Um, the sound of Cash. <laughs> okay, so you got some sounds there. You got comment tracker, which uh, you can't see. It shows up on your right hand side. It lets you um, uh, pick your sources for YouTube, stream, shared, and uh, then of course the last thing is um, an info and support button. So that just kind of runs through the the quick tools that you have available to you, and um, probably. If you get just the basic tools, you know, the screen, the screen share, the um, Hangout Toolbox, the effects, that's enough to, to get just like a, a short interview style Hangout together 
and um, that's really what I'm posting this for. I've got a couple of a uh, couple of folks that I talked to about doing a quick interview with me this week on a, on a number of different topics, and I just wanted to give them a quick introduction to Google Hangouts so they could get up and running uh, really quickly with me when we go to do the interview. So, um, anyways, just wanted to those of you doing an interview with me this week, thank you in advance. I do appreciate it. Um, I hope all of you enjoy this video and get something out of it. And um, you know, hey, it wouldn't be uh, fair unless I post a little quick public service announcement here. Hope you'll visit us at our blog at johnpadujack.com and uh, also look us up on uh, Google Plus, the social media experiment. It's uh, myself and a group of internet marketers getting together talking about um, lots of uh, ninja tricks for social media. So um, I hope you guys will join us for that as well and that's on Google Plus communities. So look for us there and of course um, I have a community also for uh, Solo Ad Summit. So if you like to Catch up with me online in one of those places. Look me up in communities. Again, Solo Ed Summit and the Social Media Experiment. Look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.